Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. So in this video, we will try to understand what are the types of ELISA. We will also try to understand what are their advantages and disadvantages. So basically, there are four types of ELISA. First is direct ELISA. Second is indirect ELISA. Third is sandwich ELISA. And fourth is competitive ELISA. If you want to know what is the procedure, principle and materials required for ELISA, please check out the link given above. First is direct ELISA. In this type of ELISA, there is a no need of secondary antibody. In direct ELISA, we test for presence of antigen rather than antibody. Patient sample that may contain antigen adhere on plate well and identified with primary antibody conjugated with an enzyme. So antigen can directly identified with primary antibody. That is why it is called as direct ELISA. What is the procedure of direct ELISA? First sample containing antigen is coated onto ELISA well plate. Then primary antibody conjugated with an enzyme is added. After that, add color producing substrate. If reaction between antigen and antibody takes place, enzyme reacts with color producing substrate and gives particular color. After that, color intensity is observed by spectrophotometer. And now what are the advantages and disadvantages of direct ELISA? Advantages Direct ELISA is faster than other ELISA technique as it requires fewer steps. And because there are fewer steps, there may be less chances of errors which may occur during each step. Secondary antibody is not used in this type of ELISA. That is why there is a no chances of cross-reactivity which may happen between primary antibody and secondary antibody. Disadvantages All types of protein including target protein immobilized on well played so detection is not become specific. This is less flexible type of ELISA because for each target protein specific conjugated primary antibody has to be designed. And this ELISA gives minimal signal amplification because no secondary antibody is used. And this is best for analyzing the immune response to an antigen. Next is indirect ELISA. In indirect ELISA, antigen and antibody complex formation is detected by secondary antibody which is linked to an enzyme. Because here we are taking the help of secondary antibody, that is why it is known as indirect ELISA. And how it is done? Using coating buffer, antigen is first immobilized on well plate. After washing step, patient sample containing antibody is added. Then keep the plate for incubation, wash it and add secondary antibody. After incubation and washing, add color producing substrate. If antigen and antibody complex is formed, substrate reacts with an enzyme and gives particular color. Color intensity is measured by spectrophotometer. And now what are the advantages of indirect ELISA? It is highly sensitive because more than one label secondary antibody can bind the primary antibody. It is economical because fewer labeled antibodies are needed. It has greater flexibility. Different primary antibodies can be used with a single label secondary antibody. And what are the disadvantages of indirect ELISA? Cross reactivity between primary antibody and secondary antibody may happen. Uh, indirect ELISA uh, has a longer procedure because there is additional incubation steps are involved. And Indirect ELISA is best for determining total antibody concentration in sample. Sandwich ELISA In sandwich ELISA, specific antigen is identified using antibody. And why it is called sandwich ELISA? 
because antigen to be identified is sandwiched between primary antibody and secondary antibody. In first step of sandwichalizer, primary antibody is added to the well of microtiter plate. Then after incubation and washing step, solution containing unknown antigen is added. Then again, after incubation and washing step, secondary antibody is added. Then again, we follow the incubation and washing step. Then we add color producing substrate. If a complex between primary antibody and antigen is formed, secondary antibody enzymes react with color producing substrate and generate particular color. Here, intensity of color is directionally proportional to the concentration of uh, antigen. What does it mean? If the color intensity is very high, it means the concentration of antigen is also very high in the sample. If color is not appeared, that means antigen antibody is not formed, which further signifies target antigen is absent in sample. Advantages of sandwich ELISA It is highly sensitive because it is 2 to 5 times more sensitive than direct or indirect ELISA. It is highly specific because two antibodies, primary antibody and secondary antibodies, both are involved in detection process. And what are the disadvantages of sandwich ELISA? Uh, here, antibody optimization can be difficult because cross-reactivity between primary antibody and secondary antibody can occur. This ELISA is best for analysis of complex samples since the antigen does not need to be purified prior to measurement. Competitive ELISA Competitive ELISA is used to determine concentration of antigen or antibody. Let's discuss how competitive ELISA determine the concentration of antibody. Suppose we have to determine concentration of antibody in given sample. Here antibody is known so we take antigen which can specifically bind to this antibody. Then we take secondary antibody which can also bind to this antigen but it is linked with an enzyme. Both these antibodies compete with each other to bind antigen. Whichever antibody's concentration is more, that antibody will bind to antigen. This is the reason this type of ELISA is called competitive ELISA. Procedure We have an antibody which concentration has to be determined. Take antigen which is specific to this particular antigen. Coat this antigen into the well. After this, take sample containing known antibody. Now add secondary antibody conjugated with an enzyme. Add this mix into the plate well. Now observe the result. If known antibody more in number, it will bind to coated antigen and produce less color. But if secondary antibody more in number, they will bind to capture anti antigen and produce more intense color. That is how we can know the concentration of antibody in given sample. Advantages of competitive ELISA In this type of ELISA, sample processing is not required. It is less sensitive to sample dilution and it is more consistent because there is less variability between duplicate samples and assays. It is more flexible. The only disadvantage of competitive ELISA is, in comparison to other ELISA technique, it is complex.